Hey, hello everyone. It's Calvina Banner here at the Creating Awareness for Christ channel. It is just about 12.15 on Thursday, March 31st. Welcome, welcome to my March Periscope broadcast. Thank you again for joining me. Um, first of all, just a few housekeeping items. If you have or have not been part of the Periscope broadcast before, just so that you know, you can share this broadcast right now with your own followers, own followers with people you know. If you are a iPhone user, all you need to do is swipe left to right and you can um, basically share this broadcast that it's going on right now, going down right now. If you are an Android user, you can swipe up up or down, and that will allow you to share this broadcast as it's going on live right now as well. Also, don't forget to release hearts as you so feel. If you feel, oh, this is good. Let me release a heart. That's love. That's love. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Just like that, you can release hearts all the way through the broadcast. Secondly, we also have the, um, did I say secondly? Just like my fourth thing. Uh, <laughs> you are also able to make comments throughout the broadcast as well. So thank you everyone for joining me. I think I saw my friend um, Teresa on, my friend Toya, my friend Tiff, thank you guys so much. I definitely appreciate um, you joining me today. All right, so I'm not going to try to keep y'all long. I know what's in the middle of the day. I try to switch it up a little bit to make it um, to make the broadcast available to everyone, um, you know, depending on their schedules and stuff like that. So I know it might be a sacrifice. You might be on your lunch break listening to me right now. So go ahead and have your sandwich and, and enjoy the message. Enjoy the message. But interact as well. I love the interaction um, uh, between me and, and the listeners and the viewers. So moving right along. So as you can tell, I don't know if you looked at the title of this message. It's called Ooh, but that weight though, that weight though. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about waiting, waiting. Uh, generally speaking, who likes to wait? Who likes to wait for stuff? I don't, I don't. Anybody like to wait out there? Nobody? Yep, I don't see nothing because obviously no one really likes to wait on anything. We are now so accustomed to everything being so right. No, nobody. Don't nobody want to wait for nothing. We are so accustomed to being, um, everything's microwave. Everything is so quick. You know, it, 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 waiting is not our forte, so to speak. So in my reading um, over the past couple weeks, I read something online and it said this. It was a question. It said, if God gave you what you have been praying for right now, if he gave it to you right now, would you be ready to receive it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me read that again. If God gave you what you've been praying for right now, would you be ready to receive it? And that struck me because I'm like, my goodness, huh? that's a good question, because, you know, we think we're ready to receive whatever it is that we've been praying for. But are we really? Have we been prepared? Are we being prepared? Amen. And I took it a little further. I said, I rephrased the question a little bit. And these are two of the questions I'm going to address today. I rephrase it as saying, if God gave you what you want, or if God gave you what you've been praying for right now, would his purposes have been fulfilled? Amen. Because sometimes we try to jump the gun in things and God is doing something that we don't necessarily understand, obviously, because his thoughts are above ours and his mind is above ours. So we have to learn to wait. We have to learn to wait. All right. So back to the first question, as far as would you be able, would you be ready to receive whatever it is that you've been praying for? Right. And when I thought about that question, you know, I thought about the idea of, um, us praying for growth in our ministries. You know, we want big ministries. Um, we're looking for promotions at our job. Um, we're looking for leadership positions in our church, so on and so forth, right? So we want these big things. We're praying for God to, to make things happen for us. Lickety split um, right now, please, Lord, right now. <laughs> I want it right now. Let it be sooner than later. Amen. You know, a lot of times we pray that. Um, but we have to be careful with that because a lot of times, you know, we, we have talents, we have gifts, but sometimes the talents that we have could open the door for us to, um, could, could get us to the top of things, but 
Will we have the character to keep us there? Yeah, that was another um, quote that I had read that somebody wrote. Talent will get you to the top, but it takes character to keep you there. Amen. And we know what that means. Basically, you know, like I said, we have all these skills. We have all these talents, all these gifts. Yes, we, we can sing. Yes, we can write. Yes, we can um, we can uh, delegate and we can uh, we're great at administration. We're great at all these many things. However, is the character within us built to keep us where we want our talents to take us? Amen. So let's think about that. Um, you know, big ministries, you know. Because I know I pray personally for myself, you know, that this ministry reaches the masses. Amen. That um, that many will be blessed by it. Amen. Um, obviously, it's a growing process. This thing, it, it's growing um, and it's all in God's timing. Why? Because, you know, we think we know ourselves. We think we know, man, if I, you know, I would never um, I would never get all high sedity or or, you know, turn my back on people that, you know, that helped me along the way. But you never know because you've never been there. <laughs> so God is building these character traits in us along the way to help us when we get to where we've been praying for that we'll be able to be sustained and be ready and, and, and be able to um, to to hold the position and hold it to glorify God. Amen. So, you know, as as we're growing in this, are we are we able to say that, um, you know, we had we, we we're grown enough in self-control? Um, you know, are we are we able to walk in peace 100 percent of the time? Amen. Are we able to show love to others 100 percent of the time? And I can say that no to those questions because not 100 percent of the time that I can do that. So these are things that God is still working in me personally and also in all of us. Amen. For us to be able to be um, uh, effective. In ministries, Amen. If that's something that we're praying for, Amen. Promotions at work, you know, we God, I, I just want to get, you know, I want to get to the top, or I just want to get to the next level, this and that. Same thing applies. You may not necessarily be as ready as you think you are to be at that next level. We don't know what it takes. You know, we see it from the outside, from what we think. Um, you know, we see our our, our coworker at this. And, oh, I can do their job. I can do it much better than them. Right then and there, that's an attitude <laughs> that shows that we may not be as ready as we think we are. That character, amen, has to be built in order for God to propel us and, and to move us up in next levels of, of ministry, of promotion at work, and things of that nature. Amen. So we got to be careful with that. Let's just be patient and let God do his perfect work in us. Amen. Secondly, um, you know, that, that just, uh, that also makes me think, you know, um, you know, God can be withholding these things, denying us these things. Also, he could be uh, delaying these things again for our own best interests. You know what I mean? We may not again, be aware of all the things that are deep down inside of us that has not been tested, <laughs> that has not been tried. And that may come up in those things. Amen. So he may be protecting us from ourselves. We could be, we can end up destroying ourselves if we get too high, too fast. Amen. When we've seen that plenty of times with um, some of the celebrities rising to fame pretty quickly and then they fall just as fast as they've risen. So we should be grateful and thankful that the God that the God that we serve is uh, is keeping us on a level. You know what I mean? He's protecting us. He's keeping us. He knows what we can and what we cannot take. Amen. So we just got to trust him and believe in him. Amen. So, um, you know, just trust that. Just trust that God got our backs. Um, a per personal testimony for myself. I know recently I had at my job, I applied for this position. Um, it's a branch management trainee program. And, um, you know, it was something that I felt that I, I wanted. But at the same time, I was wise enough to know in my prayer about that position. I asked God, I said, you know what? This is what I think I want. <laughs> you know, this is what I think I want. However, God, you know what go what, what's going what's going to happen down the road. Um, regarding this thing. So God, if this position is not for me, please, Father God, block it. Amen. And um, needless to say, he did not allow that um, opportunity to open up for me. And you know what? I didn't fret. Honestly, honestly, I did not fret. I did not get sad about it. I just said, thank you, Lord, because I really believe that he answered my prayer because 
you know, those are, those are some things around the corner about that position that I may not even be aware of that I may not even be ready for. Amen. So I believe he protected me in that. So we have to um, get to that place where we trust him so much that we thank him when he says, nope, <laughs> not that, that is not for you. We have got to be, uh, we, you know, it's just getting to that point of trust and thanking him um, for keeping us and protecting us. Amen. Um, so in regards to the second, uh, interpretation of the question about, well, God's, um, if God gave us what we wanted, um, right now, what we've been praying for, will God's purposes have been fulfilled yet. Amen. So that just goes back to the patience factor. Amen. We have got to be patient. Um, and when I think of, you know, God's purpose is being fulfilled in the things that we're praying for. You know, we could be praying for, um, you know, we can be interceding for prayer um, for someone else. Thank you, Toya. <laughs> um, praying for someone else. We can be praying for ourselves for healing or we could be praying for a circumstance to change. I know that's pretty popular. Um, praying for a circumstance to change. However, um, it may not be happening as fast <laughs> as we so desire, right? But let me read a scripture that will encourage all of us in this regard. So it's James chapter one, verses two through four. It says here, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces patience. Let patience finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, my God, lacking nothing. Amen. So what is that telling us? My God, that is telling us that there is work to be done in us. And this is an awesome scripture because it's so encouraging to know that when we're going through and when we're in that waiting period, hallelujah, there is that work that is being done in us. And there's no work um, like the work of God being done on the inside of us. So we should count it all joy when we are going through these trials. And, um, you know, waiting can be a trial for us a lot of times when we're waiting for something um, that we've been praying for. That can be a trial. So count it all joy. And remember, let patience finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. God is trying to mature us. Amen. God is trying to complete us. Amen. Nothing, nothing goes by God without his notice. So he has his hand on and in everything. Everything is purposeful. Um, nothing is willy nilly when it comes to God. He is just not, not giving us stuff because he's mean. He is give, not giving us things or withholding things or making us wait because he loves us. He knows, <laughs> he knows what we need. He knows what we can handle and what we cannot handle. Amen. So I'm very, very glad about it. And this scripture, like I said, encourages me because when I'm in that wait and I'm like, my God, I know, okay, Lord, you, you working something. <laughs> you have got to be working something because this wait seems pretty, pretty long, pretty, pretty long. But remember, God too, time, what's time? What is time to him? Uh, yeah, nothing. So, you know, our years of waiting is, is a drop in the bucket to God's, from God's perspective. Amen. So please, please be encouraged by that scripture. He is working our trust muscle in him. Amen. He wants us to be able just to trust him just that much more. He is working our faith muscle. Amen. He wants us to have faith that he is going to deliver on his promise promises. Amen. I mean, if he gave it to us right now, what we've been praying for, what, um, I mean, you know, did, did, did we have to believe anything for long? No. So that is not giving him, you know, that's not giving him the glory out of it. Amen. You know, he wants the glory out of everything. He deserves the glory out of everything. So when we're waiting, he's growing you, you know, if we're praying for other people and things like that. And our waiting, don't forget he's working on them too. Amen. He's growing other folks as well in the midst of our prayer. Amen. So we don't want to rush God. We don't want to rush his work, <laughs> you know, because we need we take time. We need some time. And just remember, the people that we may be praying for also needs time. Amen. And then also what I've learned, too, in the midst of of waiting and, and in the trials and things like that, I, you know, I, I ask God, I have enough sense to say, Lord, all right, what is it? 
that I'm supposed to learn from this? What lesson am I supposed to take from this? Amen. And I pray, you know, I, 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 that's a piece of advice that I give all of us to do because he, he's, he's not going to not answer that question for sure. Cause he, ask, he tells us in his word to ask for wisdom and he will give it to us liberally. So please feel free to ask God, what is the lesson that I'm supposed to be learning in this weight? Amen. What is the lesson? And he will tell us. Amen. And it's just, again, to help us grow in him. Amen. All right. So another scripture. Mm -mm -mm. And you hear this one a lot. But it is so powerful. It really drives the point home. Isaiah chapter uh, 40, verse 31. My God. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? But they that wait upon the Lord, <laughs> let me say that one more time. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run not and not be weary and they shall walk and not Faint. Yes. Hallelujah. Father God. Yes. Worship hands. Praise hands. That icon. Yes. <laughs> Love it. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So in the wait and we're waiting on the Lord, our strength is being renewed. His strength is made perfect in our weaknesses amen and when we are in that area of waiting oh god we might be weak but his strength is made perfect in our weakness amen and we shall mount up with wings as eagles you know you know what eagles do them eagles man they be up there they just be soaring you know what i'm saying they just be soaring you be like wow look at that look at that eagle soaring you know we can mount up as eagles with wings just soaring through just soaring through. Amen. Yes. Soar. Hallelujah. Because we know that the strength of God is working. Amen. And then we shall run and not be weary. What? Whoo. Now I ain't no runner. Now I get on a treadmill. I can walk. But running. Oh, Father God. Um, not my thing. So when we are, this is telling us that we shall run and not be weary. That means we can run on and we ain't going to get tired. Oh, glory to God. Oh, my God. Boy, I'm about to go off up in here in my own worship. Praise God. Yes, we shall run and not get tired. Can you just keep running and not get tired? Anybody able to do that in the physical? Just run, 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 run and not get tired. Scripture is telling us in, in, in the spirit we can run and not get tired so long. Amen. So long as we are looking to him. Amen. And then he also says we shall walk and not faint. Amen. So walking, we stride and yep. Mm -hmm, that's my thing. I like to walk. So we stride and amen. And we are not going to get weak in our walk with him. Amen. Our walk with him will stay strong. Amen. We will not faint, meaning get weak. Amen. We will continue to walk in him. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Y'all get that Isaiah 40, 31 down in Yoshanda. Hallelujah. Oh my God. He is so awesome. He is so awesome. It's so encouraging to know he keeps us in this way, in our weight. Amen. It just excites me. And it's it is just doing a new work in me right now as I minister. Now, thank you, Jesus. He is ministering to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name, y'all. Mm. Glory to his name. He is so awesome. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. He is an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus, for always keeping us even when we wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So what does it mean to wait? You know, because sometimes we misinterpret what it means to wait. And we'll, you know, we'll wait and uh, we'll just sit there, you know, <laughs> I, I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm just waiting on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, thank you for waiting. But waiting does not mean you don't do nothing. That don't mean we don't do nothing. Amen. Waiting is an active thing. Can you believe that? Waiting is an active thing. Amen. And the Lord showed me this. <laughs> Um, it, it, it's a, it's a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an active thing. All right. So when the Lord tells us to wait, they that wait upon him and we're renewing our strength and whatnot, waiting, we should be waiting with expectancy. Amen. Hallelujah. 
We are expecting that God will deliver on his word and on his promises. Amen. So when we're in that waiting period and we know what the word of God says about that thing. Oh, hallelujah. It can't nobody tell us nothing. You know what I'm saying? We are like, Psh. I know the Lord's word says this to me. Amen. And I believe and I am waiting. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Praise God in expectancy. Amen. So no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what it sounds like, I'm expecting, hallelujah, God to deliver the way that he said he's going to deliver according to his holy word. His holy word is everything. Amen. So in the midst of our, uh, in the midst of our turmoil, in the midst of our uncertainty, we got to stand on the word of God and know Oh, hallelujah, that he will deliver. So we are expecting, we are expecting, waiting in expectancy. Amen. So that is one piece of waiting. Amen. Now, also when we're waiting, we have got to be careful, y'all. We have got to be careful not to get into our own works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not get into our own works. Amen. And uh, what I mean by that kind of, you know, taking taking matters into our own hands. Amen. Um, you know, we just get into the works of the flesh. We, we try to make it happen. Amen. Um, you know, cause when we do this, we're going directly against God. Amen. Um, what we're basically saying to him is, um, you know, well, God, I, I don't trust you to be able to figure this one out. I think you need some help. So I'm going to try to help expedite this process. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And hopefully that, you know, pushes it along just a little bit. You know what I mean? And I have an example of that in my own life. Um, you know, when the Lord uh, dropped this ministry in my heart, you know, I had, um, you know, dreams of it growing. And, you know, and I felt the Lord put in my spirit that, it, you know, it's going to grow and things like that. Yep. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I, I believe that. But I was like, all right, so how can I make it happen faster? How can I make it grow faster, y'all? And I'm, I'm just sharing my heart. You know what I mean? Hey, this is what we do. <laughs> Amen. How can I make it happen faster? So I had, um, you know, prayed about it and whatnot. And, um, you know, I felt, I thought <laughs> that I had gotten the Lord's leading to, um, you know, go back to school to try to get uh, my master's degree and in social work. So, um, I had done that, you know, I went back to school, you know, was doing my thing for a little bit and, um, you know, the Lord let me do it for a little bit. And, um, you know, he checked me in the midst of it and was like, um, did I tell you to do that? <laughs> you know, did I, did I tell you to go back to school? And, um, you know, he had to chastise me. In regards to that, because again, I thought I was doing a good thing. I thought I was doing the right thing, but the Lord showed me that I, I was walking. I was working it, according to my own flesh, trying to speed up his process. You know what I'm saying? By getting another degree under my belt so that, you know, when people saw me or heard me, um, I, I, I feel that I was a little bit more credible and things like that with them, um, with that MSW behind my name. But I got G.O.D. in my life. So that is all that I need to be relevant and to be credible because he is the one. Amen. That keeps us all. So hallelujah. He had to show me that. Amen. That we cannot get into the works of our own flesh. And trust me, when I was going to school, boy, I was ready to pass out. I was so tired every day. I, I, I couldn't, you know, it was ridiculous. So the Lord had to let me do it <laughs> to show me that, that that was you that decided that. That not me. I didn't say do that. You decided to do that. So God is sovereign, y'all. God does his thing. He is all knowing. Amen. And there is nothing that we can do or cannot do to expedite his perfect timing and or his perfect will. There's nothing that we can do. So we must not get into the works of our own flesh when we are waiting. You know, we're praying for somebody. So we just keep nagging them to do this and do that. That's the works of the flesh. Did, did God say, tell them that? No, then don't nag them. Let God do his perfect work. Amen. We have got to refrain from getting into the works of our own flesh. Praise God. All right. Waiting. Another piece of waiting. It's rejoicing. Kind of goes back with, to waiting with expectancy. Um, scripture tells us in Philippians 4 and 4 to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say <laughs> rejoice. Amen. So in the waiting, you know, you 
we have got to get into the flow of getting into his word while we're waiting because you see how this does. Well, let me just speak for myself. It does me good. You know what I'm saying? It just renews my spirit and just renews my trust and faith in him that he's going to do it. He is going to do it. So we just need to rejoice and stand on rejoicing in him. Hallelujah. Get some praise music going. Hallelujah. Get your little shout on in your own province of your own home. Let God minister to us and help us to rejoice in everything, always according to his word. Amen. Waiting also means staying connected to God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have got to stay connected to him. Just as I just alluded to his word, his word. Amen. He is no short of his word. Praise God. And to stay connected to him is to stay connected to the word. Stay connected to the word is to stay connected to him. It's interchangeable. Amen. So we must know the promises of him. Amen. In order for us to be able to rejoice, in order for us to be able to wait in expectancy, because if we don't know what he says he's going to do, we don't know what to expect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't know what to expect if we don't know what he's talking about. So it is very important for us to stay connected to him through his word. Amen. And through prayer, through fervent prayer to him. Amen. Just let him fill us. Amen. Let him fill us uh, all the way up. Amen. He is so awesome in that regard. Amen. So stay connected to him and make sure that whatever he is prompting us to do along the way while we're waiting, that we do it without going into works of our own flesh. There is things that he will lead us to do. Amen. Through reading his word, you may see a script like, oh, I need to, I need to, you know, improve in this area. And it'll help us in our waiting. Amen. So let us make sure that we are staying connected. All right. And then um, the last piece that I have in regards to waiting um, is knowing that he will, God will sustain us right now in the wait. Amen. So we don't have to, um, you know, be discouraged. We don't have to um, lose hope and whatnot. He will keep us. He will sustain us. He will give us what we need right now in the wait. Amen. What we need right now. We may think we need this other thing over here. God knows what we need. And he tells us what? That he will supply our what? Come on, somebody, somebody work with me. Somebody talk to me now. He will supply our what? Come on, somebody. Mm hmm. Yep, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting because I know all y'all know. He will supply our every, all our needs. Yes, all of our needs. So every need. Yes, so even in the wait, y'all, even while we're waiting, he is supplying our needs. I don't care what our emotion tells us. Oh God, I need, uh, I need my husband to start acting right. God, I need my kids. To... He's going to give us what we need right now. Amen. And you know what we need? We need him. <laughs> Bottom line, we need him. He gets us through it all in the way. Amen. Um, he decides how our needs are going to be met. You know what I mean? We sometimes we box God in and um, Lord, I need you to do this thing right there and do it this way. And God might be coming on this side with something different. And, you know, he knows how he's going to do it and when he's going to do it. Don't box him in. Amen. That's something that I've had to oh, train myself to do because um, I'm so, you know, linear and, and, and particular and detailed. And I feel like this need to be done like this. And God like, um, no, I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> so to God be the glory, we have got to grow in freedom in that. And like I said, that's something that I too had to grow in. Um, so yeah, so we just have to believe that he's going to meet our needs. He does it all the time because he loves us and cares for us the deepest. Amen. He loves us and cares for us the deepest. So he is going to take care of us even in our weight. Oh, my gosh. I love him. Don't y'all love him? <laughs> Don't y'all love him? Can I get an amen? Can I get a yes, Lord, or something? Don't y'all love him? How he just always, always, always continues to keep us. Amen. So I'm going to close with um, a scripture that we are also also oh, familiar with um and it, and it and it ties in with with the weight and um trusting him in the waiting amen oh, jeremiah 29 11 oh yes oh yes mm -hmm. thank you jesus for i know for i know the plans i have for you 
declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. <laughs> oh, that just sums it up right there. I, oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I thank him that he knows the plans that he has for me. And I thank him that he knows the plans that he has for you as well. He does. And it's a plan to prosper us. Y'all hear that? That's what he said in his word. It's a plan to prosper us. So in the middle of the wait, when you feel like, Lord, come on. Always remember, he knows the plans already. It's done. He knows it already. And it's a plan to prosper you. It's not a plan to keep nothing from you. It's not a plan to take anything away from you. It's to prosper, to make greater, to bring more to you. Oh, glory, glory, glory. And it's a plan to give you a hope, a hope. When we have that hope, we always got something to look forward to. Yes. So it's a plan to give us a hope and a future. So we got something to look forward to, y'all, down the road in the care of God. Hallelujah. I just feel led to pray right now. Hallelujah, God. I, 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 ooh. Glory to your name, Father. Glory. I thank you, God, for this time, oh, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for allowing those to join this Periscope, uh, Periscope broadcast live, oh, Father God, or even those who are watching um, the recorded version, oh, God. Lord, you know, God, the things of our hearts. Hallelujah. God, you know the things, oh God, that we are waiting on, oh God. You know the things, oh God, that we are trusting and believing you for, Father God. So right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, I ask and pray, oh God, that you will strengthen our weight muscle, oh God. Believing you, oh Father God, never to be discouraged, oh Father God. But always to lean and trust in you, not to our own understanding, but always acknowledging you, knowing that you are directing our paths, oh God, no matter what it looks like, oh God. So help us, oh God, to wait with expectancy and rejoicing, oh Father God, and belief, God, that you are going to do exactly what you say you're going to do, oh God. We believe, God, that you love us and that you care for us so deeply, oh God. We know that you already have the plan worked out and that it is a plan to prosper us, oh God. We believe you. We believe you right now, oh God. We believe you that you are doing a work in each of us, oh Father God. Oh God, work in patience, oh Father God. Work in our trust in you. Work in our faith in you, oh God. Help us to rest in that, oh Father God. To help us to take joy in that, oh Father God. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this time, Lord. Oh God, bless all those who are watching, oh God. Continue to bless me as well, oh God. We thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the release of the hearts. I just, I just pray, oh God, that he, you know, we, oh, I just love him and I love people and I love to see all of us grow in him, um, especially in the way. Amen. So just, just stay encouraged. Be encouraged. Let's encourage one another. Amen, Toya. Thank you. Amen. Um, Mo, thank you. Amen, Val. Appreciate you. Tiffany, appreciate you as well. Teresa, appreciate all of you that came on. Amen. Continue to, to meditate on his word and his truth. Amen. And uh, I'll see you guys on Periscope again with, uh, let's see, April 30th-ish, probably April 30th. I think it's only 30 days in April, right? So April 30th, I'll see you guys again live here on Periscope. In the meantime, again, check out the YouTube channel. I'll be um, posting this on the channel. So if you ever need to revisit it um, just for re-encouragement, please feel free to do so. Also, um, take a look at my website, www.creatingawareness.com the number four, Christ.org. Um, also, uh, visit me there too. And Kay, yes, I will tell Ida that you said hi. Definitely will do that. So it was good to, for you to join. I appreciate that. Appreciate you guys taking your time in the middle of the day. God bless you. Amen. And I'll catch up with y'all later. Love y'all.